Hello and welcome to this unboxing video. In this unboxing video, I'll be unboxing the Young No uh, YN660. And uh, I bought it mainly just because of my new project. It does not require like big um, flashes. So I think this one will do the job. Um, on the other hand, I also left all my... Why is it so hard to open this side? Okay. Um, on the other hand, I also left all my big flashes back in Germany at home. And now that I'm living here, I don't have the luxury to always go back and forth to Germany and bring it back. So yeah, out of the box, actually there is the uh, warranty paper, uh, manuals, and uh, yeah. So as a lot of people probably have noticed, Yongnu, they make lenses and uh, flashes and uh, quite a few more accessories for photography now this uh, this flash is bigger than the flash that i own myself which is the canon 430 ex2 i own two of them so this is much much bigger it's more in the size of like the 600 ex flash from canon but this is actually a good thing because the new project that i'll be doing actually needs a bit more powerful flash I'm not saying the 430X2 uh, flashes aren't that strong, but you know, having more is always better. And since my project, well, since in general, I don't always use flash photography. In fact, probably like, not, uh, sorry, one out of a hundred times I will use flash. So I don't see the need to actually purchasing the, um, the Canon one because that will be way too expensive for me. Okay, <laughs> that's the first time I saw this. <laughs> This is actually a really useful thing to keep inside. I'm not sure about the battery compartment though. Maybe it is because it's been shipped all the way from China. But uh, it's always good to have this in the bag because it will prevent uh, moisture in the bag. This can create, well not create, but have little fungi in your bag and could lead into your lens. Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, sorry. So it does take um, double A batteries, four of them which is good and this is what I like is that on my 430EX2 I only have this but on this one I have this as well I don't know the technical term of it so I'm just gonna call it like the bouncer um, yeah what I don't like it about it straight away is that it feels cheaper than my 430EX2 though in the same time it feels easier to use and uh, yeah, I heard that this ring comes out very easily. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother taking it out. Um, there are more ports over here, which I will never use them because I usually use a wireless transmitter with flashes. So yeah, I'm not gonna use them. And uh, unlike some other cheap Chinese flashes, at least this one you can actually turn off the sound like the beeping sound that when every time you click in the menu it always make beep sounds but yeah and the other thing that I don't really like about this flash is there's no locking button um, like on the Canon it's somewhere over here where you can actually lock when it's like at the end some people some people will prefer it this way without the lock I prefer with lock because um, I usually work with at least two cameras so um, I usually just accidentally bump um, the orientation or the settings, things like that on my flashes, my um, other cameras that I have around me so it's always good to have lock and so that I know that the settings and everything stays the same um, some people think it's slow, I think it's just more convenient but you know, different photographers, different views and um, yeah, that was the unboxing it's been a pretty short video but yeah thank you very much for watching and if you have any other questions about this flash or anything like that oh by the way i got this flash for like 90 years um so i think compare that to like um even the 430x2 that i would buy for just um the next coming uh few projects i know that canon flashes are way more reliable than these from like um, the fact that I used to own Yongnuo went like back to the very beginning when I started photography 
and uh, when I switched to Canon flashes, I noticed how much more reliable Canon flashes are. I mean, obviously native system, but um, still, <laughs> for just this upcoming up projects, next few projects that I have in mind, I think that Jongnuo will do it. And uh, yeah, I just see no reason to actually spend a lot of money for Canon flashes when I don't like when the next uh, coming up through few projects are just my personal projects so I'll not make any money of it so yeah investing in something like this and in the same time I also have a lot more time to do the, uh, the project so I don't need the flash to be as reliable and as responsive as Canon but yeah um, that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and have fun shooting